Hey there, I'm WCBI meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Severe weather season is just around the corner, and one of the easiest things you can do to keep you and your family safe is to purchase a weather radio. These are about $30. You can pick them up at Kroger, Academy Sports, Hallmark, even Durham's Pharmacy over in Vernon. And if you can't go to the store, you can also order them on Academy Sports' website and use code WCBI for free shipping right to your door. Now, when you get the weather radio, a lot of folks want to know, how do you program it? for your area. So we're going to walk you through step by step right here. This is one of the more popular weather radios. In fact, if you go to the store, this is probably what you're going to see. This is the Midland WR120 and this is the one we are going to program for you today. So let's go ahead and get this right on out of the box. The first thing you're probably going to see is the radio itself. It comes in some bubble wrap. So go ahead and get that on out of here. Just put that to the side. The next thing you're going to see is this white box. It's going to have a power adapter in it. Just to save us some time, I went ahead and plugged that in for us. So that's right here. And if you look on the back of the radio, there is a power uh, port here that you just plug this right on into. And you should immediately see it light on up, just like this. You're going to see uh, the welcome message there. And the first thing you're going to see is to set your language. So how we're going to maneuver through this menu here is using the select button. So when you press select, it's going to take you to English. If that's your language, just press select. If not, you can use the arrow keys to move down to French and Spanish, but most of us are going to be English, so just go ahead and press select. That's going to take you onto your location. This is where you choose your county. What county do you want to receive the alerts for? What county is the alarm going to sound for? When you press select, you're going to pick it's going to default to any, but you want to push the arrow button down to single. That's what we want to be on. So use the arrow key to go down to single and press select. It's going to give you this zero, one, empty option. Just press select again, and it's going to give you the U.S. We're all in the U.S., so press select again. And then it's going to take you through a list of states. If you're in West Alabama, you're lucky because you're the first option. Just hit select. But for a lot of us, it's going to be Mississippi. So you can just hold down that down arrow key all the way down until we get to Mississippi, which should be coming up right here. Press select again. Now we're going to be on a list of counties. So it's going to start out with Adams County and just scroll on down until you find your county. There's a Tala County, Chickasaw, Choctaw. We're here in Columbus at WCBI. So we're going to go all the way down to Lowndes County, Mississippi, all the way down. And again, once you see your county, go ahead and press select. But we are still on our way down. There's Lowndes County. You can use the up key if you miss it. Press select again, and there, your location is set. Now it's going to give you the option to set your time, like your clock on here. A lot of folks really don't use this. You probably aren't going to look at your weather radio to figure out what time it is. But if you want to set the time, you can use your arrow keys up and down to change the hour. Use your right key to go over to the minute. And then again there. And then just press select again, and that will save your time. Now, this is possibly the most important step is your channel. There are several weather radio transmitters in our area, and you've got to pick the channel that gives you the best reception in your area. So I provided a list of channels down below in the article. If you scroll down, you'll know what channel to choose. Uh, but here in Columbus, we are going to go ahead and choose channel three and press select. That's the uh, option that gives us the best reception there. And then it's going to say setup done and you are all ready to go. Now, another thing you want to make sure of is right on the side, there's this little switch here. It's an on off switch. This is the way it's going to make noise. So if it is on, it's going to make noise. If there's a warning issued, if it's off, it's not going to make noise. So this 100% of the time, this switch has got to be on. And then all you got to do is set it up somewhere, extend the antenna. And if you hit this weather button, it's going to give you uh, the voice to make sure it's working. So if you want to set that up somewhere, use your antenna, uh, and then you can make sure it's working, making sure you get a good signal there just by hitting the weather button, and then you can turn that off by hitting snooze. If you hear a voice talking to you, you've chosen the right channel, you have good reception, and you can leave it alone. It's going to do its thing whenever it needs to. There is a test that happens every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m., so you might hear that go off. That's another sign that it's working. And then the last thing you really want to do is open up this back compartment here and put in some batteries because obviously during times of threatening weather, it's pretty common that the power goes out. So you want to make sure you've got some batteries there. But other than that, your weather radio is set up. After that, you've just got to set it up close to a window, preferably so you get a good signal. But really, you should just leave this alone and never have to touch it again. And hopefully, next time you get a weather alert, Hopefully you don't have to, but if you do, this thing will go off and it'll wake you up even in the middle of the night. And then you can tune into WCBI to get some further information. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, weather at WCBI.com. You can also reach out on Facebook and Twitter.